it's Lindsay with Ryan and Rose, and today I'm so excited. I am so excited to finally share with you the spoovel. Yes, I said spoovel. It is a spoon and shovel in one. And I am so excited, so excited about it. Um, if you are really close to me, you know I have a real love for Chinese spoons. I don't, <laughs> um, a friend when I used to be an interpreter for the deaf, uh, Bethany Chu, used to come to work and she always brought a Chinese spoon and I was always fascinated with it. And I've always, we've, since then we've had them at our house. Um, and I just really feel, I know this is crazy, well not, not crazy, but I always feel like something I was drawn to these spoons like something I'm supposed to do like Lord what are you telling me what are what what is going on um, and I've just kind of ran with it and just followed um, the Lord and I just really feel like um, he wanted me to do something with these spoons because I am so obsessed with them so um, I've had this idea for a while um, even had Brett cut the Chinese spoons that we had um, to kind of like bring my vision to life. Um, I know with the cutie tinsel, um, I wanted something after that. One thing about having kids and Ryan and Rose is I create products out of necessity. Okay, Ryan, Charlie does great with this. What's next? What would be at the helpful transition? And that's what the spoovel is. Um, I'm also really excited about it because um, my friend Cassie and Allie, as you know, their mom has Alzheimer's and they are so excited for this. They're like, Lindsay, this is exactly what we've been looking for. And so I know they're gonna use this a lot with their mom, Georgia. Um, but yes, kind of wanted to show you guys the process. You know, I guys like, I like to show you behind the scenes and kind of my thinking and where it's come from and all of that. And um, so yeah, so it started with the Chinese spoon. As like I said, we cut it, um, Brett took it outside and kind of that's where the idea started. Um, we also, Daniel, me and Daniel and Jenison always like text back and forth and for a while, Charlie, this one right here, is kind of where I got probably the most inspiration. Um, we actually took these, I've left a few of them at Mex Mexican restaurants, probably um, Casadoras in Arlington. They're probably like, where do these spoons keep from me from? Because <laughs> I had so many of them. Um, but I would buy them on Amazon and I would let Charlie eat with them. And um, I just loved how it scooped. I didn't love how she had, sometimes with this, um, I knew it needed to be flatter just because getting it off the spoon. Um, but this is where my inspiration comes from. All of these. Me and Brett, I don't know, I think it was like in May. So like March, April, I think we did this during COVID. Um, and then we did the first clay, I think in May, approximately May 2020. Um, and so this was my, this is me putting what was in my head um, kind of into a clay. It kind of looks like a duck foot. <laughs> I was just like, yeah, it's not as pretty as I thought. But um, just to give you an idea, I also thought I wanted the stick to be kind of at an angle. Later learned through using this and everything that it wasn't ergonomically correct and it just, it, food would fall out and kind of stuff. Um, but this was my my clay model and this was Brett. So he was, um, he was beating the king. You know? <laughs> Me and Brett. Um, but yeah, this was kind of what I, you know, Courtney, as you know, is my go-to girl for drawing all of my ideas and putting on the end paper. And we had, there was another one, and then this was the other one that we, the kind of, uh, the final drawing that we kind of came into. So you can see the, um, the spoobal. I wanted it to have a skinny handle, um, because when you think about transitioning to a fork or a spoon, um, all of our handles are real small. And so I wanted it to be a similar size. Um, and this is, as they're littler with the tinsel, like being able to grab onto it. Um, and so yeah, so me and Brett spent about a hundred bucks on spoons. I'm telling you, we bought all kinds of spoons on Amazon. Um, I think I have some videos that I'm gonna give to Trent, um, but most of these uh, kind of, we used all of them. We let Charlie use all of them. Okay, how does she eat with them? What falls off? What works the best? These were, I think they were called like dessert spoons or Danish spoons. Um, but I really, really liked them a lot. Um, and then I came up, the idea 
kind of combining the two is giving them sides. Um, but yeah, so I think I did a YouTube video. I think it was with lanyards or class. I think it was lanyards. And I told you, hey, we have a product that's coming so fast. And so from the time we did the clay model, I think that was May and then June, I sent the drawing, the finalized drawings to Judy and was like, hey, this is what I want. Um, we got the plastic sample, which I don't have, but I have a picture I'm gonna show you. I think I actually posted it in stories with the, um, like a covering it up so you couldn't see what it is. Um, but that was in June. So we thought, hey, this project's moving along. We actually got the first real sample, I think in July. So that was a super, super duper fast process. Um, when I got it though, I wasn't in love with it. And you know, I'm not gonna launch anything that I don't love. I just felt like um, it was close, but it was too bendy. It needed to be a little bit harder. Um, and so that was June, no, July, this was July. So July, got this, and then it took us uh, we kind of went back to the drawing board and like, hey, is there a way to add plastic inside? And so it took from July till December to get the plastic right. We got another, or she sent us another sample and it was like the plastic wasn't strong enough, it wasn't covering enough, and so um, learned to be patient. And then we finally got the newest sample, which I'm obsessed with, in December. And we've actually ordered the mold, hoping to come very, very soon for you. Um, but. I, just showing you the process. I just, it's just really cool. Some things are really fast and sometimes it's really slow. And this process was like, oh my gosh, we're gonna have these in like a few months. And it was like, oh, okay, it's not perfect. Let's keep working on it. Um, so the biggest difference between the two, you would think, oh my gosh, they look exactly the same. Is this when you're using it, when a child is using it, it bends. And I have some um, videos of Charlie to show you. Um, and then the new one actually has plastic inside, which we're really excited about, um, but it makes it stronger. So when I'm pushing it, when I'm a child, I'm pushing against the plate, it's not going to bend, but it's gonna help you push and scoop your food. So, cutie, spoobal, I'm so excited. Um, I thought it would be fun to kind of show you, um, <laughs> I remember when I came up with the idea, I feel like I've been calling it cutie spoobal for the very beginning. Um, and everybody here and some other people were like, yeah, I'm just not sure. Maybe you need to keep thinking on that. And I was like, no, I really like it. I really, really like it. I even had this piece of paper on my window and had people like trying to help me like vote and come up with different names. So it says scovel, spoobal, shovel, scovel, food shovel, foovel. <laughs> I mean, this is the process. Um, as you know, with the cutie tinsel, I like making up names, but I feel like this cutie spoovel is perfect. It is a spoon and a shovel in one, and it's gonna help your littles eat, and I'm so, 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 so excited. Um, but yeah, there's that. This was one of the first drawings that Judy sent back to us. Um, so you can see it's a little bit different. We added the sides a little bit more, and we changed the curve, so there's that. And then um, this one is me showing you. So this is a cutie tinsel bag. Um, and so you, lately what I do when I'm trying to figure out size, I'll kind of take some bags that we have. So this is tinsel and I, I just uh, stapled it and trying to figure out the measurements and all of that good stuff and how I want it in the bag. Um, so yeah, they will come two of the same color in a pack, but I'm so excited. Of course, this is not the right packaging, but it is going to look like this. We just finished it yesterday, I think. Um, but yeah, hoping to have the spoovel to you in January, maybe early February, but I'm so excited and I hope you're excited. Um, did I tell you I love it? Because I love it. So anyways, coming soon, coming to you. I hope you love it. Let me know what you think in the comments and we will see you soon.